Hello everyone. Today I am in the neuro ophthalmology clinic of our hospital. Here we deal with the problems of the optic nerve. You are probably wondering what the optic nerve is. Optic nerve is the nerve that connects the eyes to the brain. It transmits all the visual information that we have collected from the world to the brain for further interpretation and analysis. So broadly, the functions of the optic nerve include the precision of vision, color vision, contrast sensitivity, and the field of vision. Any patient with problems in any of these aspects will get thoroughly evaluated and treated at our neuro ophthalmology clinic. So come, let's dive into a day in neuro ophthalmology department. So here are some of the common neuro ophthalmology symptoms that you should not ignore and immediately report to your neuro ophthalmologist. Headache is a very broad symptom. So it covers various specialties such as ENT, neurology, neurosurgery and sometimes even psychiatry. So let's ask the expert consultant neuro ophthalmologist as to what kind of headache is of neuro ophthalmology concern. Headache can be a very broad symptom. It can range from problems related to eye focusing issues, computer vision syndrome, to sinus headaches, migraine headaches and even serious forms of headaches. So the headache uh, that is usually associated with a vomiting sensation that is called nausea or uh, even a feeling of vomiting sometimes when the headache gets very severe. So the second thing is if your headache is associated with some kind of symptoms like fever, body ache, temporal headaches. So these are symptoms when you have to come immediately to the neuroophthalmologist. The next important neuroophthalmological symptom is sudden onset blurring of vision in one or both the eyes. So why should you rush to a neuroophthalmologist if you notice sudden blurring of vision in one or both the eyes? So any time that you notice sudden blurring of vision, you need to come immediately because it could mean few conditions like optic neuritis, ischemic optic neuropathy or something called cortical vision loss. That means uh, the problem lies within the brain double vision. So we have two eyes but have single perception of the world around us. How does this happen? Because we have perfect alignment of both the eyes. So when and how can this alignment be lost? When you start seeing two images instead of one with a gap between the two images, you need to rush to your neuroophthalmologist immediately. So this can be either a neurological issue, a muscular issue or a neuromuscular issue which we will investigate when we see the patient. A black patch that is called a scotoma or loss of visual field. So the extent of space that we can pursue through vision is called visual field. If there is any loss of a part or whole of visual field, then you should immediately rush to your neuroophthalmologist. And let us understand why. So when the optic nerve is involved for any reason, for any uh, condition that is called an optic neuropathy, you can have a scotoma, like she said, is a non-seeing part of the field. So the scotoma can be in the center, it can be one half of the field or it can be like a complete black patch in front of your eye. This can happen either when the optic nerve is inflamed or when you have for some reason any optic neuropathy because of nutritional metabolic causes. Color desaturation or loss of contrast sensitivity. So if you ever feel that the color of an object is faded, the redness of an apple is not red enough or the blueness of the sky is not blue enough, you could be probably experiencing color desaturation. Let's understand what causes this symptom. So the optic nerve mainly contributes to red and green spectrum of the color vision and the macula contributes to blue and yellow spectrum of the color vision. So any optic nerve problem can predominantly lead to red green desaturation. So be it optic neuritis, be it some other form of optic neuropathy, you can experience what is called prominent reduction in color vision compared to your vision. Hope you all got some idea about the common neuroophthalmological symptoms. If you notice any of these symptoms, immediately report to your neuroophthalmologist. Take care.